Okay, so I'm delighted to be here today, and I've only got 35 minutes with you. So I've got a lot of information um, about products, about techniques, about creating a very, very cool summer trend, which is waterproof, because we all know when we're in here, it's lovely, isn't it? Air conditioning, when we step outside, it's hot, and how. So what we need to do is really show you products that will be long lasting, in the heat, simple to use, maximum impact, whilst having loads of fun, because makeup is fun, right? Um, again, we've got 35 minutes. Um, my name is Virginia, I'm from Fat Moo Academy. Our stand is over there. If you've got any questions afterwards, come and see me on the stand, see the team, and we can go over anything, because I am going to be speaking very, very quickly. And what I'm trying to show you is, again, current trends, um, a lot of new products that you might not have heard about, and also, what we like to say at Fat Moo is we're teaching you the past, the present, and the future. Um, by future, we mean airbrushing is, is the future of makeup, airbrushing. So we're going to show you something a little different today, which is putting um, a bit of color into the hair with an airbrush at the end. So you get to see a little bit of everything within 35 minutes. So I will keep quiet now and get on with our demonstration. So first of all, this is my lovely model, Ushma, and I picked Ushma for this because she's young, she's fresh, aren't you? And um, she is such a good example of a young Indian girl who wants to go out to have a party. She doesn't have time to put on lots of makeup, and she's got maybe 5, 10, 15 minutes to get ready. That's it. So we're going to show you quick ways to create her summer look. I've already prepped the skin, and... I used Dermalogica Skin Perfect Primer. There is a Dermalogica stand. They're a fantastic skincare brand, and they really, really um, cater to the individual. So look at all of us here. We all have different skins. Dermalogica are really interesting because they will look at you as an individual, not just trying to just sell you a product. So go and, go and have a chat with them. It's a primer. What I like about this primer, it's a three-in-one. So it has three effects all in one tube, so it's easy to use. Um, and I've put this all on, it works on the skin, it gives a flawless finish, and it's got an SPF as well, which is fantastic. I've also put on a little bit of lip balm already on, just because it's so hot and air conditioning, and I'm gonna be putting a lipstick on. The lipstick trend for today, it's orange lips, because orange is really, really um, a strong trend at the moment. So in order to really have maximum impact with, with this delicious color I'll be putting on, the lips have got to be hydrated because there's nothing worse than putting lipstick on to a, a cracked surface. So I just already put this on. It's, this is a Dr. Paw Paw. It's a natural product. And we do try and use as many natural products as we can. This is my favorite product in the world at the moment. Now, it's called Lip Tar. And the company is OCC, OCC. What I love about this is it's 100% vegan, okay? Animal cruelty free. So fantastic for vegetarians. And also the pigment in this is superb. You don't buy it in India, but you can go onto their website and you can get a little bottle like that. You could get shipped here, OCC. So I'll show you very quickly. And what's really good is that you can create a very, very simple lip stain, and these do stay for a long time. Or you can really, really have a very strong color. It's up to you. So you can see from my hand, I'm building up a color there. And I'm putting it on top of the balm already, so it's easier to apply. You could put this on with your finger. You can use a brush. Up to you. Put your lips together. Sometimes by just doing the lower lip first, the product will travel up, so you save on your product and on time as well. Now this is just a base for today, and it does have, a, obviously it's pink, but it's just, just to show you what you can do. Very, very simple, very light. Very comfortable, Ushma, right? It's non-drying, so you can have it on, it will last a long time. It's a really good product. 
So we've got our nice lip base on. Now we're gonna move straight on to the eyes. And because it's summer, we're doing summer kissed, sun kissed, a little bit of a bronze feel. So I'm sure all of you have heard about MAC paint pots. Everyone heard about MAC paint pots? Fantastic color range, great brand anyway. You can apply with a brush, or I could put on with my finger, which I'll show you now. I'm gonna put this all over the base. You see how quick I'm being? Super fast. So I'm putting that all over the eye area, and it's just creating a nice base which I know will set, because these products have silicon in, they're pretty much set now. So the good thing is they last a long time. The bad thing is that if you have to make changes, you get a little stuck because they do, they do stay in place. So if you know what you're doing with them and you need a makeup to last long, they're fantastic. If you're someone who likes to move around with your products and change things a lot, be a little cautious. Is everyone understanding so far? Yes, very good. So now I've got just a nice base on. So that's my waterproof base. That's going to stay with me. These stacks are Ben Nye. Ben Nye, fantastic color range. Slightly metallic range here, which is lovely. Which give, As an artist, that gives you lots of choice. You don't just have to say number one. You can look at that and think, or maybe mix them in. So I might mix a little bit together now. So I'll start with this one. Now these are creams, they do not have silicon, so they will move, but because they're going on to a nice waterproof base, and then I'm gonna pack them on with a bit of powder, for intensity, the makeup will stay. And again, it's very, very light, it's a nice summer look, and I'm just painting this painting this on very lightly. So it's a nice, nice bronzy cream. Ben Nye, B-E-N-N-Y-E. -E. I'm just doing the lids area. You see how quickly I'm working, super fast. And some of you might be professional here, some of you are you know, personal artists. This works for both. Close your eyes. Right, so I've got my color in place. Now everybody's different here. Everyone has different tastes. You might be a person that says, bus enough, and stop here. Bit of mascara, ready to go. Or you might be a person who wants to up it. And makeup is about layering up, and it's giving us choices. So I'm just gonna up the intensity a little bit. And I love this color, very coppery. So I'm just gonna mix in a little bit of copper with that to make the, the eye color a little bit more interesting. And again, see how quickly I'm working. Very, very fast. You can get your fingers in there, as long as your fingers are nice and clean. So you can see that. So we're just upping the color. So I've got two creams, I've just mixed them together. Now I need to set the eye shade in. Again, this is one of my favorite palettes. This really excites me. I call it the bridal palette. Um, it's Ben Nye again, a superb color range. Um, the pigment in it is fantastic. We take these on a lot of shoots. We use them in the classrooms. They're such a dependable makeup brand. Um, and I know I can trust it on shoots to do the job. You'll see what I mean. I've got my lovely 217 Fluffy Mac brush. And again, we've got choice. I could, I could go for a more copper feel or I could go a little bit more gold, bronze. So let's go for copper. Close your eyes. So again, I'm packing it on. Can you see that? It's a lovely fluffy brush. So it won't hurt the eye. And I'm going to take it right up to very lightly. I'm traveling the product. The main part is going here and I'm just taking it up. Same the other side. So you can see I'm packing it in. There we have it. It's 
So for me, again, I could leave this. I don't have to add anything in. And I know in India, ladies love their eyeliners, gadgets, and you feel very naked if you don't have an eyeline. So for where I'm from, people are very comfortable wearing just one color, mascara, they're happy. But if you're a person or your client really wants to have an eyeline, you can, we're going to put on an invisible eyeline at the top. So it's not really an eyeline, it's a supporting line. And we're just going to really work it into the top lash line, just to give a bit of definition. So I'm using Maybelline's gel liner in black. When you buy silicone products, always keep the lids on because they dry up very, very fast. And they're very expensive products, so do look after them. Close your eyes, my love. So I've got a nice Inglot brush. Can you see the shape of it? It's quite long, quite fine, and it gives me a nice control. Close your eyes. And I'm just going to the end, and I'm taking the brush horizontally along. So again, this isn't an eye line. Let's not call it that. It's eye definition. It's an invisible defining line. Again to the other side. So Indian ladies will not feel naked in their eyes. It's a very, very soft look. Okay. I've also got this fabulous um, pen for who loves eye lines? Anyone like eye lines? You like eye lines? If you like eye lines, this new Maybelline pen, and it's called Hyper Sharp. It's fantastic. If you see the, the, the end, it's very sharp. It gives a superb line. So I'm not going to do that today, but just saying to you if you want to do that, because this look is not about eye lines. We've got a lot to get through. I've just put on an invisible line, but that's a great pen to use. To give you a little bit of definition under the eyes, again, you could leave the makeup like this, but we're going to move forward a little bit more. Take the look further. Eyes up. Oopa. Now, I've got a purple color. I'm not going to do black. I'm going to introduce a little bit of purple because purple is, again, a current trend for the eyes. So I'm just introducing it. Again, it's a lovely waterproof pencil, and I'm just taking it very subtly to the end. Just mid there. You see, it's very, very subtle. And this is silicon. It stays in place. It's urban decay, and they stay in place. It doesn't budge, which is fantastic. So again, I'm just going to the middle. And you can always come back to this and make it smokier if you want to. That's great. Mascara. Now again, this, this look is really about the lips. The lips are the star of the show. So for the eyes, we're not going to do eyelash curling. I'm just going to give you a little bit of definition using mascara along the top, and I'm not going to put anything on the bottom because it's a summer look, it's hot, less products. And this is a very, very fresh, young look, so we're not going to overload Ushma with makeup. She's such a beautiful girl anyway. I'm enhancing rather than just showing off with too much makeup. So I'm using a lovely Max Factor mascara. Now, you can see this lovely little tool I've got here. Everyone see that? So Natasha, who I worked with, oh, did I poke you in the eye? <laughs> um, Natasha, who I work with, my business partner, brought this back from Japan. And their Japanese products are superb, and they have so much fun with um, makeup tools. So she picked this up, and it's just a really different way of putting on mascara. So if you're at a show and it's really busy, or you want a different way of doing it, just to show you what you can do. So eyes up, so you get your model to look up, you pop it under, close your eyes. And that's great, because it means you can just relax. And what you can do is just then give a nice coating that way. And you see the way you can move the wand in a different way as well. 
because I just want a very, very light look. I don't want a dolly look for this makeup. Close your eyes, and you can just get your um, look ahead, and then, sorry, a bit lower. And your finger is always fantastic for just, because of the heat, so just for pushing up if you want to have a light curl. So other side. Close your eyes. So again, we've got room to play around with that, like so. This is also great if you want to ever paint the lashes another color. So you could add in purple, blue on top with another brush. And again, it, it's great because it means I can talk like this to you while ha holding that. So it's a very good tool to have. Again, eyes straight for me. Just pushing up the curl. So I need another tissue. That's great. Eyebrows. Now, this is something that I just playing around with this week. Um, this Givenchy mascara came out on the market in 2007. And when it first came out, everybody got really excited because it was one of these ones that had this sickle top. Can everyone see that? And it had a really different tool and it was fantastic. So we all got them. Now the problem, as you all know, mascaras dry up. What do you do with them? You, you cry because you know, makeup is expensive and when your products dry up, it hurts. So we were playing around with this the other day and I, what I really liked is the fact that you can use this on the eyebrows as a tool to keep it in place while adding a little bit of color. I wouldn't suggest doing this with a fresh mascara because it's, the product will probably be too slippy. But actually, why not try and reinvent your products a little bit? And as you can see, what it does, it combs up. And it just adds a little bit of color definition, but it keeps the hairs in place. So look out for your dry mascaras and see what you can do with them. I particularly like this wand. It's really different. There you go. <coughs> now cheeks. I'm just going to have a quick look here, see how we're doing. Right, getting there. So now we've got our sort of base of our lip on. We've got our eyes pretty much on. I'm going to add some cheeks on. I really love, this is um, Maybelline Dream Touch Blush. And we were playing around with this product, the team and I, and we were just thinking what, what we liked about it was the fact it's so subtle. It's really light, but it gives the most beautiful sheen on the cheeks. So again, you'll see what I mean. Smile, enjoy, smile. So again, with your fingers, you can just work in the blusher. So it's incredibly subtle. So any blusher that you do links up the eyes with the, the lips as well. So with this lovely open space, it's our choice as an artist. What do we do with it? So we're putting in just a little bit of color. It's really pretty, very, very fresh. Again, Ushma is only 24. 24, so she's very young still, so she doesn't want to have too much makeup on. Smile. The product, the product is from Maybelline. Smile. Blusher. Blusher. So it's actually a blusher, it's not a highlight, but if you work it into the cheeks, it sort of does... It's a mascara. It's a mascara. It's an old mascara. Old mascara. You can use any mascara you want to. I've just, that's an old mascara. So I'm just showing you what you can do with their drying out and you have them at home. Right, Anu? It's almost close to dry. Right, so our look is starting to come. It's very fresh. For those of you who want more blusher, you could, you could have this. Or I'm just going to pop it now with MAC Frost Fabulush. So again, it's a cream, cream blusher. And again, it just gives a lovely sun-kissed look. Smile. 
And you see, I'm putting it onto the apples of the cheeks, and I'm then working it up. Smile. There we go. So I'm going to have to keep coming here to check I've got it even. That's it. So again, it's very subtle. It's just breaking up the space between your lips and your eyes. So we're starting to complete the look. Now the lips. I was debating, there's, there's two colors I love from MAC. One is called Lady Danger. I think I love the name more than the color. And one is Mac Morange. So it's orange with an M in front. And when you see the color, you'll know what I mean. It's really a lovely bright. Thank you, Brad. Really, really bright color. This is a really good way of keeping lipsticks. Lipsticks and keeping up with trends is very expensive. So what you can do is get pill boxes. You can chop up your lipstick. It hurts the first time you do it. It's really strange. But what you can do is buy one current trend lipstick. So say you love MAC Morange. Buy a lipstick between three or four of you. Chop it and then you've all got four bits. So everyone's happy. And then you put them and then you label them so you know exactly what to do. So again, I'm putting this on with a brush and make sure that the lips are hydrated and nice and smooth. Lips together. I always like to put the bottom one on and go, let the model or your, your bride or whatever, your client, Put the lips together because the product then jumps up. Otherwise, you'll put, you're loading on so much product. And I always think with lips, just start slowly. Look in the mirror, see, is it enough? Do you need more? So always stop, have a look at what you're doing, have a think. So it's a really, really fresh, lovely color to wear. I'm just working on the outline here. We're actually going to put a gloss on top of this as well. Lips together. So it's a very, very fresh look. It's fun. And what you can do, if you feel it's too much product, just take it back a bit. And then you can make it matte. So or I quite like orange lips when they're matte and not so glossy. So matte's quite, I think it's quite sophisticated, actually, and especially in this sort of weather. And, you know, it's humid, it's raining, too much gloss is, you know, it might be too much. So this is like one option. Just dry. Or if you really like gloss, this is really fabulous. It's um, Maybelline product and it locks in the color so we've got a nice we do have a gloss here there's a color but it stays in place which means you can whiz around town or wherever you're from and it stays in place again put your lips up for me just once is enough otherwise you'll eat it so again be careful with gloss that you don't over gloss the top So we've got just, that's it. Okay, don't put your lips together now. Now you'll want to. <laughs> okay, so you've got a nice glossy look. So you see the difference between a dry and a wet, and that's your choice or your client's choice. So what we have here, I haven't actually concealed um, under eyes. I'm going to do that right at the end. What I'm going to show you now is, this is just a straightforward current trend look for summer. What I'm going to do is just with our, I have the lid off, with our fantastic grease palette, 
from Makeup Forever. Um, we're just going to have a little bit more fun, showing you very quickly how we're imagining Ushma is, is my client and she's going to a party and she likes this. She said, this is okay, but she wants to have a little bit more fun with the summer season, with summer trends, and she wants to have something a bit more creative. So I'm going to show you with stencils just how you can create a really fun look just to add more to this and to the mood. Okay, so she's going, let's say she's in Goa and she's going to a beach party and she wants to be different and she wants to be the belle of the ball, right? Yeah. yeah. So, I've got a stencil. Now, you can get stencils from any art shop, craft shop. Professional makeup shops also do them. Um, and you can make your own stencils, it's up to you. And I've just got a latex sponge. You might have to hold that for me, Praj. So what I'm going to do is put that up like that. And you can do this so quickly and easy. Lovely. Thank you. You can get your mom or your sister to help you with this if at home, or you can have two hands. Ready? So again, you can have like really quick, impactful effects going on. So this is just one design because it's in the mood. It's sun-kissed. It reminded me of the sun coming out. And again, you could stop here. You could say, right, enough. Powder it, set it, and you're good to go. Or if you're very creative, you can start to decorate it. Another product which I love is called Ben Nye Aqua Glitter. Now these come in fantastic colors. You can have great fun with them. You can put them on as bindies, little decorative designs. Again, it's Ben Nye. This is grease, grease paint. So you have Cryolan. Go and have a chat with Cryolan. Cryolan do a fantastic palette as well. Um, this is just one that we have, just a different combination, makeup forever. But any grease palette, any makeup artist should have a color grease palette for any situation. So then what I'm going to do, I've got a lovely bronze here. And then you can have fun and you can just start to add little drops wherever you want. You can get crystals, you can get bindies and design around it, it's up to you. And one of the, I think you'll all agree with me, as makeup artists, it's very hard to know when to stop because you keep wanting to add more and more things. So we're going to keep it quite, quite simple today. And I'm just going a little bit over. Yep, I've been told to wrap it up. We're going to also add in a little bit of the hair brushing. I'm just going to add a little bit more silver. And again, I'm going to stop there. That's it. What we're going to do here, projectors just got a gold color. And we're just going to, you'll see, have seen in hair trends, that lovely ombre feel, where you're just adding color in there. So we're adding a little bit of of the gold just to the ends of the hair with an airbrush. Now we all do airbrushing, but this is hair brushing. So we've just put an H in front of it and you can do fantastic designs on the hair as well. So again, all of you artists should be very creative. It's something we believe in at Fat Moo and just being creative and having fun with makeup and hair. You know, really, really don't just think in a formula way, have fun with it. Be experimental. How are we doing now? Yeah, that's the grease, the grease palette. This one. This is Makeup Forever. French company, Makeup Forever. Love, really nice brand. They were in Malad, but they're not in Bombay anymore. We'll do, we will 
I'll stay on the stage till I get kicked off. Okay, we have to do this safely as well, so take your time, it's fine. So can you just see, it's very subtle. Yeah, so just to, just to show you as an artist how, how today, for example, we're doing summer trends. We've got to show you waterproof products, but we're trying to make it a different design as well. So every design is different. And it's 2014, right? We have to have a modern approach to makeup and products. You cannot get stuck in the past. You have to have a modern approach. You have so many companies coming in and artists now, you have to know what products are. So be aware. And any questions about anything, please come to the Fat Moose stand. We're happy to meet you. We've got a lovely team there. Happy for any questions because there's a lot of information coming at you today. This is, this brand, this is a Cryolan. Cryolan Gold. So again, you can go and have a chat with Cryolan. Cryolan is a superb company as well. So I hope you've enjoyed the session today. Lots of um, product knowledge thrown at you, but I hope you've learned something and had fun with it. For the hair, that was Cryolan airbrushing makeup. You can see that? We'll come, if you come to the stand, we'll answer any, any questions about that because I, I know we have lots of speakers today. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Ushma. Thank you.